share that uh, that there is a change, a wind of change coming, and I believe that. Amen. Amen. I said there's a wind of change coming. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I believe the gates of hell that have risen up against this ministry will not prevail. Amen. Somebody will understand what we're saying. Hallelujah. That's some yes. people apostolic decree. Yes. When that decree is made, it's established because Jesus in the book of Matthew chapter 16, verse 16 to 19, gave the apostle the ability to do that. He said, what's the devil is from earth? He stopped from heaven. What's the devil is allowed uh, on earth is also allowed in heaven. So, so we are saying that the gates of hell that have troubled this ministry, hey. I say it shall not prevail. Amen. I said something like that. I said everything has an expiration date. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yeah, my hmm. So some things can last for a certain time. Yes. But when it's time to expire, it expires. Yes. Yes. Ask your credit card or your debit card. Hey. You got money to pay for it. Because you face different money, you go and say decline. And you, and you crazy, you think they are taking your money from me. No, 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 no. Because the card has expired. Yes. You know, you know, in my, in my, in my short term ministry, all right. God has been great, great <laughs> to us Amen. and has taught us. Well, let's pray before I start talking. Amen. Then we'll forget to do that. But we want to pray. Father, we thank you mm. for this environment yes, that is now saturated mm. with your presence and your glory. We take authority over the atmosphere. Yes. 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 We silence the mouth of the devil. Mm. We declare because you have given us the power to the Luke chapter 10 verse 19. That we have power over all the powers of the enemy. Yeah. So we use the grace within our power to silence the mouth of the enemy. Mm. Functions, activities, devices, mechanisms, and schemes of the forces of darkness, we arrest by the power that is in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Everything that represents Satan, mm. everything that represents demons, mm. everything that represents darkness. We bring to heart right now. Amen. We suspend the functions and operations of the of the kingdom of darkness Amen. in this entire area of suffering. Amen. And we Amen. announce the presence of the most high God. Amen. That Jesus is in this place. Yes, Lord. And we say, Holy Spirit, take control now. Speak, direct, instruct. We are subject to the Holy Ghost yes. to do what only you and you can do. And we know, oh God, there will be results in this place tonight. And there will be testimony coming from here tonight. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So as I was saying, as in my short time in ministry, I've, the, the, the Lord has been gracious to me to teach me a lot of things about the enemy. And you know, I got a funny way of learning. You know, I watch TV sometimes. I watch TV most times, anyways. And I watch a lot of Indian movie, African stuff, uh, African movie, those kind of stuff. Where people are looking for the story and looking for what God, what God is saying. And then you see, you pick up stuff from those things and see how dangerous the enemy is. Hallelujah. Amen. One thing God told me, I think it was two of uh, last week or the week before, and I was praying. You know, I got angry in my spirit because the devil did something to me. You know, you, you, you try all the time. Let me real. You keep fighting till you die. Yes. Mm-hmm. Warfare is not going to end. No. Don't be fooled. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you, some people think when they say they are born again, when they come to the church, they everything see. Mm-hmm. And I would like to see this prophecy against the devil. Mm-hmm. So uh, 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 I see Paul running now. I love the prophetic. God can usually about the prophecy, now. Mm-hmm. but not everybody is a prophet. No. The office of the prophet is quite different from prophecy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The office of the prophet is dangerous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not because somebody brings prophecy, so they are prophet. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, but prophecy does not solve problems. You need to understand that. One thing I know about our great people, especially, you don't see that about Ghana. You don't see that about Nigeria. You see a more prevalent about Nigeria and Sierra Leone people, one more disease. Mm-hmm. You see, it was so high-headed. The more you tell them, they say, you, you want me to lose my blessing? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But you would never see the Ghanaians running behind prophecy. Is it? You don't see it. I've been different, different. I've seen all kinds of prophets from Africa, from mm-hmm. anywhere. You have to see Ghanaians sitting in the pew. 
setting and drinking the things. You never heard about William Chapman. The people are so branded in the world. You don't follow games. Because the power comes from the word. Yeah. If any prophet is operating outside of the word, or he's operating and his power is not based on the word, that's why you must preach the word. For the Bible says the apostles preach the word with what? Signs following. Mm -hmm. So signs and wonders follow the word. Yes. yes. Mm. So before power, before power manifests, the word must go forth. Amen. Because the word is a person. Yeah. Mm. But we don't want to say that we don't want to learn anything about Jesus. We don't want to learn anything about the Bible. We don't want to learn anything about church. We don't want to learn anything. All we want is just prophecy. <laughs> so it's hard to teach people that. So the church is so 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 uh, shaky, like quicksand. You can it can settle because you can't teach again. People don't want to receive teaching. They want to receive uh, prophecy. Mm -hmm. But then you ask somebody, say, "Oh, if they can read prophecy, sir. but I've come to tell you." <laughs> Some of us in our gates, what do you say we're going to I said a couple of years ago, one kid in, in Maryland said five crackers in, in the school. Pa, 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 pa. Suspended him. Tell me, deafy. Mother and auntie keep crying. And then I stood there, I said, two weeks time they will send the ball go back. I told her, I said, two weeks. Exactly two weeks were back in school. Mm -hmm. So I didn't go around calling myself. I need to be somebody. <laughs> so we need to want to say something. So I'm very effective in the gift that God has come into. I'm very effective and confident. And confident, excuse me, in where God has called me. Hallelujah. So we say the devil is very wicked. So that's why we are assembled here tonight to talk about strongholds. Mm -hmm. And we want to live the name of Jesus in the process. Hallelujah. Amen. Because he is the author and finish of our faith. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the reason why we are here. Yeah. Church, I, I explained my story the other night. I said, Jesus is the reason why we are all here. Yeah. If Jesus had not died, some of us would not have made it this far. Yeah. If he had not resurrected from the dead, some of us would not have made it this far. Yeah. So the entire gospel is about Jesus. We thank God for the gifts, but we still give Jesus the glory. Amen. Because he is the he is the reason for the for the gospel. He is the he is the head of the entire issue we are talking about. The Bible calls him the head of the body. I listen to me, somebody. Amen. So that's where we're here. Hallelujah. Amen. And we know that tonight is going to be a very important night. It, it, you know, it's good that you are here. Those who are here is unfortunate. Amen. Amen. Although tonight is going to be it's going to be something to see. Am I speaking to somebody? Yeah. Amen. 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 Tonight is going to be a major issue because Amen. we will deal with some stuff in your life. Mm. Those stubborn stuff that have refused to go away, mm. God is going to take care of them. We say, we're talking about expiration today, didn't we? Yes. Yes. And so today, a lot of things have expired. Amen. Am I Amen. speaking to somebody? Amen. We told you the last time, we said, if you don't expect anything, nothing will happen. Mm. Uh, you know, one thing I know about church people, when they come to church, they don't pick up the power, they come to church. Mm. Don't do that anymore. Every time you come to a church, come with an expectation. Tell God what you expect of him. Amen. 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 Don't waste God time. Or if I don't waste your time, don't waste time. Exactly. Because you just pick, pick up, come and stay for two hours, you go back home the same way. Mm -hmm. The Bible says Zacchaeus. Mm -hmm. And another thing I want to say, we're taking our time tonight. Tomorrow, I don't know if there's work, but we want to take our time. Right. <laughs> Without rushing God. Amen. <laughs> So Zacchaeus, Bible says, and Zacchaeus got up soon in the morning with the, with the purpose of what? He said he wanted, he wanted to see what? He wanted to see Jesus. Now it's a funny thing. There were, there were professional followers of Jesus. People who just got up in the morning, just followed Jesus from place to place with no plan, no focus. They were there in the group, but Jesus passed on the past there. So when they were there to carry the news, who fell down? Who ate the bread when Jesus said the bread? Uh, who, who, who did it? They have no room, they were just following. Mm, but yeah. they have their so when they started with Jesus, they ended with him, but nothing happened in the last. <laughs> Zacchaeus, who was hated, mm. lonely, mm. despised, mm. rejected, mm. the man got up. He said, I've been hearing about this Jesus man, mm. but I want to see this man today. Amen. He had a purpose. Amen. My Amen. Jesus. Amen. My God bless. <laughs> And then God saw the desire and God set up a divine appointment. Mm. 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 
let us the heat know God was ready for his visit. Amen. <laughs> there comes Zacchaeus. Hmm. Bible said the, the, the crowd was so much. He said, they may have money. We're talking about somebody like, uh, what was it? A, a millionaire. They may have money. They have plenty of money. Hmm. They have big men. It was money to climb on a tree. Climb the tree. Hmm. And then Jesus came passing. The Bible said, when he got to the place, Zacchaeus was hmm. stuck. Look up, he said, come down, young man. Hmm. For the day, salvation has come to us. Hey, hey. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey. So Zacchaeus had a purpose. Yes. So don't just get up. I'm telling you, change your culture, your church culture now. Hmm. The problem is not the men of God. The problem is not the church. The problem is not the person worship. Hmm. The problem is you, you have no focus. What are yes. you coming to a church for? <laughs> what is your expectation? Yes. Is this a routine for you? Because you've been missing for three years old. Yeah. <laughs> what is your story coming to church? Yeah. So every time you must expect something, either you say, God, fill me today. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Or you can say, God, do something new in my life Amen. today. Amen. And the church can come corporately with expectation. Who told you there will be, be no miracle? Yeah. <laughs> I just be somebody. Amen. 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 So when you come, come expecting God. Yes. So, yes, sometimes my faith can help you. But I, I just want to tell you that it makes it better and easier for you so that when you come into God, you come with an expectation. Amen. Yes. Now what Jesus asked, uh, uh, somebody said, what did you come to see? Mm. Uh, and now John the Baptist, the example, wasn't it? Mm. He said, what have you come to see? Mm. <laughs> Because the kids they said they were for Jesus. They wanted to know if Jesus was the, was the guy or the man they were expecting. Mm. So he said, What did you come to see? Mm. The guy with beautiful 38 years laying there. Oh yeah. Then oh and oh and Jesus said, Oh, what you explained to me about the angel falling and coming up doing all that stuff. What do you want? Mm. 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 We're talking about the manifestation of power. Mm. You gotta have an expectation. You must have a desire. Mm -hmm. On the issue of that thing, some people, let, let me first, some people are used to their condition, so they like to have it. Mm -hmm. Some people are used to people being sorry for them. Mm -hmm. They love for people to be sorry for them. They think they get the attention. Mm -hmm. Amen. I listen to somebody. Amen. For your issue will change tonight. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So your issue will change tonight. Amen. Amen. Talk about pulling down strongholds. You see, before we read that portion of scripture, I want to give you a synopsis of how Satan operates. Satan was named Lucifer. He led in heaven. He was created to be in heaven. He was the prince and worship guy. So, all his life, he was before God. One thing people don't understand is that Satan rules the word of God. You don't have to think hard. Because if Satan was Lucifer in heaven, that means he spent time before the word. He yes. spent time with the word. Because yes. the Bible says, in the beginning was the word. And the word was God. And the word was the word. And the word was the God. And the word was God. So if you are in the presence of God, that means you were there in the word. Mm -hmm. So Satan mastered the word more than your 50 PhD in theology. I know. Yeah. Hmm. He knows how to work the word. Amen. Who is the who knows hmm. Hmm. Satan knows how to exegete scripture. Yes. He knows, and you see, what he doesn't do, he does not attack you from your weakness. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Satan attacks you from your strength. Because if you leave your, your weakness, if you attack you from your weakness, then you will be strong enough to, retar to retaliate. So he will break you down from your strength. Hmm. So Satan has no other orientation besides what he knows from heaven. He has seen no way. It's just like us. When I'm coming to Africa, and I'm coming to America, I was thinking about how we eat cassava here in Italy. <laughs> because all I've been used to, cassava me, and my whole family cassava is our national anthem. All my brothers, if you go cassava, you won't get your death for cassava. Put it over so I'm thinking, I said, what? How we live in America? Because at that time, I know it's the less sandwich and bread, all that kind of crap. I'm from Bonn County. I love the <laughs> <laughs> So I'm thinking, 
how I will manage in America. Why? That's because that's my culture. That's how I was raised. That, that's, that, that's what I know. So Satan wouldn't know heavy. So why is there? Everything he knew from heaven, he turned it for evil. That's the only difference. Satan knows power. He knows about covenant. He knows about the word. He knows all the principles that God up with. He knows it. Hey, you're talking with that guy. The only person that ever is Satan is God, Jesus. That's all. As the sort of Steve are selling that the softball cast that devil. So they went in front of the people and say, Oh, that thing they do it too. Now they are magicians, we're screwing for the demon. Uh, uh, for who uh, it said Jesus is who for cast the devil, come out. The demon said, Oh, I know Paul. <laughs> He's anointed. <laughs> Jesus is talking about, I know that God has scared of him. But you, Who are you? where are you coming from? <laughs> they went there like nobody business. There was another one in uh, Silver Fiamma who said he was casting out devil. Before we know he was running, they are crazy. They dealt with the demon, beat him up high. Hallelujah. Amen. So, so Satan is, is very crafty. So I don't know how people can manage with all the word and the thing that prophecy can solve the problem. Because I, there is no way you can challenge the devil without the word. There is no way. There is no way. I don't care who you are. You're wasting your time. Because look, when when, when Isaiah read the scripture with Jeremiah, uh, how do you call the guy Elijah, when he met the woman who God sent him to uh, uh, Zerifah, the widow of Zerifah, and, and then she had her last. And when we when, when performed, when the miracle performed, she had all the empty vessels filled. Mm -hmm. There is no story, there's no record that an Elijah went back there again. Mm. One time, that was it. Mm. Yeah. The other woman, the, the woman who built the house for wow. the, 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 the partner on the roof car, he prophesied to her for the child one time. That was it. It's not finished. One time, and that was it. The next important thing was that. When the boy died, God didn't tell Elijah. He did not tell Elijah. That would be taking care of don't worry about that. He did not tell Elijah. That Elijah, prophet Elijah. Why God didn't tell Elijah say the boy is about to die? He didn't even tell the woman king. So you depend on prophecy. You ain't got word. I'm sorry. <laughs> because it is the word that, that, that is the word. That they saw the work of it. Look, let me tell you. When Satan, when Satan, when Satan came to tempt Jesus three times, three times he tempted. What Jesus used? Jesus didn't cast out devil. Jesus didn't pray. Jesus didn't lay hand. Jesus, you see, and what happened? Word against oh my goodness, it was word against word. Satan quoted Jesus quoted back. Word was challenging word. Every word he quoted, Jesus had answer from the same word. Before when you were about fled. People don't know this. So some people here will be living with beyond prophecy forever. And it's possible that you'll be running beyond prophecy and you'll miss the gate of heaven. Mm. Mm. Because all God is interested in is that you will know him in the power of his mm. spirit. Hallelujah. God's interest is that you will know Hallelujah. Jesus. Be saturated in Jesus. Fall in love with Jesus. Yes. That's God's intention. That's his desire. Mm. All the other prophets say in the signs and the word. Signs and wonders is willing to confirm the word. Yes. That's what it's about. It's not just to exhort a man of God. No, it's to confirm what God says in his word. Amen. If somebody listen to me, I want to talk to the people in your church. Don't be running around this place, man. Huh. Let's see the Just stay in one place. For you are saturated with the word. Mm. Somebody lift their hands. Oh God. Oh God. Me. God. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Help me. Help me. Tell our own flow. Tell me up, Lord. Tell our own flow. Tell me up, Lord. Tell our own flow. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That goes in tension. God will wait to send Jesus because he won't give you prophecy. Salvation first. Yes. You know God. Yes. And then, look, see, look. 
There are three ways you can know God. The first way is to know God through what? Intimacy. Mm. Other way, through the fellowship of the suffering. Mm. So if, let me tell you, I don't care what you do as a Christian, you will go through suffering. You've got to participate in the mm. fellowship of his death. Yes. yes. That is clear cut. That is no, there are three transitions. The first one is the death. Second one is the resurrection. That's the transition. First thing. So you must go through that. You have to experience death through the suffering. That's not going to change. So if you want to suffer death, forget it. Mm -hmm. So you will go through suffering, whether that sickness, whether that pain, you will go through that. Because you have to experience that death. Then the next thing you will experience resurrection. That's the place of victory. Amen. Once you are living in a rest, once you are living a resurrected life, as a sinner will not attack the tackle. But I am telling you, you will be operating from the mountain of victory. Yes. Hallelujah. No, victory, victorious living is a mentality. It's not winning one battle at a time. Nope. You need to understand. Amen. Hallelujah. Victorious living is a mentality. It's a mindset. Yes. It has nothing to do with the uh, with the uh, today you win. Today you lose. No, no, it's on my set. Yes. Let me give you an example. Esports. Championship winning teams. They have developed a mentality when the when the when the NFL leagues, when the NFL season starts. What are the teams they can measure first? New England Patriots. New Patriots, uh, Pittsburgh, uh, 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 whatever, Giants. Because what? Steelers, because what they have won several Super Bowls before. So they have developed a championship winning pedigree. Mm -hmm. Similar with soccer, it will say Spain. The first two teams are Real Madrid Barcelona. Yep. I don't care how many players the other team buy. Mm -hmm. The first are Real Madrid Barcelona. In England, they say Mexico United. Every season that when they say World Cup Brazil. Mm -hmm. Why? It's because they have a winning mentality. Yep. So throughout the season, last year, I rather thought and uh, you in there, we're not even going to make a player or we're going to make a player be knocked out the first round. I don't like them anyway. <laughs> so I really thought that was going to happen. These guys were losing games to Dolphins, mm. Miami. So, Golden State Warriors, they were, they were losing, they, 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 they had won the championship, they were losing some games, everybody put them up. When they put the act together, there was a run before you know it, NBA championship were in Oakland. Mm. Why? Is that how many games they lost in the regular season that matches? Yes. They won the championship Wait. rounds. Yeah. 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 People who are victorious, they develop a championship winning mentality. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a mindset. So you are tough through your nails. You are tough. Mm -hmm. When the fire comes, the, the water comes. Hey. Yeah. 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 Yes. yes. Thank you, Jesus. We are solidified work. Mm -hmm. That's why Satan couldn't get Job. Mm -hmm. Job was soaked yeah. in the work. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All the attack. No prophet went to Job. No apostle went to Job. No pastor went to Job. Job knew what he wanted. Job knew what his position was. He stood his ground. Jesus. Yes. 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 Then there's a pattern of church. The church is really getting more difficult, and not because of the pastors. Mm. Because the poor call themselves Christians. Mm. They don't even know what Christian means. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. So now we're going to take the church down into modern man activity. In a mm. of modern man. <laughs> so you go to the man, you pay him, you call the sin. Uh, oh, there you go. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. That modern man thing will be now. Mm. And one thing the other way would do the stuff in the Old Testament. Hmm. Where the, the, the priest would go to the holy of the holy, then you stay outside, you gave you your sacrifice, then you stay outside. I tell you. And that is not pleasing to God. Because then hmm. you're telling God that you are wasting your time by selling Jesus Christ. Yeah. Because Jesus, what God yeah. said, He said, I will dwell in them and dwell amongst them so that they can be my yes. people and I'll be their God. Yes. <clears throat> yes. He said, and my word, my, my law will be inscribed upon their hearts. Yes. So that no man will tell his brother no God. Amen. Because they already know God so much. Yeah. 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 I'm 
Amen. Prophet is blessed and going on. I don't care what somebody says. Mm. I'm not criticizing prophets because I love prophets. Mm -hmm. I got plenty of prophet friends. Mm -hmm. I love the faithful ministry game. Mm -hmm. But we need to put some things in order. Amen. Why would you go to somebody pour water in your bottle open your bottle? Spill it inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 You know what they make them do? They want to put them on the stage. You know the source of the passive power. Mm. That was so demon they just transferring in people that they don't understand. I know. The fact of ministry is to what? To edify the saints. Yeah. What does that mean? We have, our responsibility is to equip you. When you call us, we are only reinforcement. That is, you reach to a place where you can't cross now. Mm. Then you call us. We sell habit. Read Bible. Uh, uh, Philip, the, 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 the deacons. Those guys, they were casting out devils. Mm. Deacons were. Mm. And casting out devils. And they would go to Samaria. When the people get there, they came back to the apostles. They didn't go see the apostles come. Mm -hmm. I just somebody. Yeah. The, church, the church will grow because you are the ones that are going to commit. The pastor can be everywhere. So if you know the word, you are empowered by the word, you can lay hands on the same. Who told you say laying hands on for prophets and for pastors? My people, why are we so lazy in the church? Hmm. When I can say, I didn't, in fact, I want to be a pastor in the first place. My mentor began to tell me about these signs that follow them, I believe. When the men sat down and taught me, I became so aggressive in the spirit. Everywhere I go, I will lay hands. Everywhere I go, I will say something. I just begin radical and dangerous. I used to get up 12 o'clock in the night when I sleep at 6. And what, you know what God did? Like I told, I told you some of the story. He placed me right in the midst of witchcraft. Mm -hmm. Then I started praying. <clears throat> I used to pray. I told him my mom's my story because she didn't believe I was uh, born again because I was so bad. <laughs> she told me, she told me. <laughs> so she didn't believe I was born again. For six you know, my in the house, she still didn't believe that I was saved. Mm -hmm. Every day she said I was drunk. On day, she started hearing me pray, and she was saying she come and lay. That time she was laughing. That heavy lay. Today I come and eat you, and she must say. So I just passed. You know, but that was the beginning, and things started happening. Things started happening. So, but the point I tried to raise is that I didn't have any intent or any any desire to say I was being. I was just doing what the Bible says. I listen to somebody. Yeah. So what you got to do is the Bible says this as when you go to church, you're working in your working place, the person says my head is hurting. Yeah. Don't say let me call Pastor uh, Pastor uh, Rumble. Lay on the person. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way the church will go. That's the way the church can be strengthened. Because when you do that, the person can say, What? Hmm. I won't go to one girl happy, happy to one girl. We talk about the prophetic. In, uh, I said, I will not want to give give our pastor. We used to have Bible study to our place. And she wanted to work at Mosolado. She was um, um, employed by the Ministry of Education, but she wanted to be assigned at Mosolado School. So she was there talking to me. I said, okay, give me your hand. I said, go to Mosolado, go to the Ministry of Education first. Then you go to Mosolado, tell them, say, you came to get your job. <laughs> <laughs> they get gone. She, she obeyed me, Mabu. <laughs> she obeyed me what I told her. She went to the Ministry of Education, took the letter from there, went straight to and uh, most of them say, I'm here to get my job. She was in, she was hiding that city. Amen. Hallelujah. So the next day, Ooh. she went all around the place looking for me to give me fifty dollars that I see. So she took her to my church. Then my mentor said, my, my man, we hear some good news of what's happening in there. Yeah. But I was not pastor. Mm -hmm. So it's not about not being, it's not about titles. Let me tell you, God doesn't want to, God, a title is just, mm -hmm. just to define a function. Mm -hmm. this, this, this. What God is interested in is to apply the word of God. Amen. 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 That's the ministry oh, yeah. of people. You got to be in power. I know I told somebody I will not, I will start being prayer contractor now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Somebody said, Oh, uh, 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 as you say, oh my man, who are you? Uh, what, uh, so you what now? You pastor, you apostle, you preach. I said, Oh, how you doing now? So you can decide what time you'll be pastor, what time you'll be apostle, what time you'll be bishop. And you can decide that now. <laughs> <laughs> and one day I like myself, oh, God, maybe I, 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 I didn't move a routine. So again, I would get so and pass. 
Yeah. I don't really care. <laughs> I listen to somebody. Yeah. So we're talking about pulling out. So the devil is very crafty. The man has understood now where the church lies. Mm. So people are watching. There's angels that watch. He said, oh, these people are practicing. So people are going to collect some dangerous stuff from the dark, from the dark world. Mm. Bring it in. Who told you the devil can prophesy? Read the book of Acts. Yeah. Get a, get a girl before when he ever saw she passed around. The, the, the seven of the most I got. Everything she was talking about Paul was true. Mm-hmm. It was not allowed. Everything she said about Paul, it was all true. But Paul knew, the Bible said he got angry in his spirit. And he knew it, so he rebuked the, the demon of the, the woman operating with uh, the, the seven times spirit, that, that five, uh, five times spirit. Spirit of divination. Mm. People go to learn that in the camp, they take no power to the camp, they see the prophets. Mm-hmm. And people just go in there and lay in the head, they, they, they get hey. the transfer of that dangerous stuff. Yes. That is the devil works. But we're talking about pulling down to get somebody read 2 Corinthians chapter 10. But it's supposed to be a machine. Hopefully, I'm going to be a machine. Hmm. Oh, 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 Exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. Yeah. And what is what is what is um, what is a stronghold? A stronghold is a place that is fortified, that cannot be penetrated, that is impenetrable. Hallelujah. Amen. A stronghold <coughs> is somewhere that cannot be. The man will sit down on the word. Yeah, he's coming. Yeah, he's sit down on the word. So a stronghold is 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 a is a is a is a fortified terrain, a fortified territory, mm. a place that is impenetrable, a place that cannot be accessed mm. unless by permission. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. They got military stronghold. They got demonic stronghold. Mm. They got religious stronghold. Mm. They got political stronghold. Every type of stronghold. Amen. Anywhere that is that is strong to break through, anywhere that you can pass through. It's a stronghold. Mm-hmm. And that place is well defended. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what a stronghold is. Mm. That's what a stronghold is. Amen. It, says, it says here, it can also be defined as a place where a particular cause or belief is strongly defended or, or held. That kind of, that, that, Part of the definition applies to religious stronghold. Man, it's not easy for people to and tell you to say religious stronghold. I'm talking about uh, Muslims and uh, uh, Hindus alone. There are Christians who, who got real religious stronghold. I don't care what the Bible says, they hold on to the church issue. You know, there are certain churches who don't believe in healing. I still don't understand why. Because the Bible is very clear. Hallelujah. Amen. But you can't break them mm. when it comes to that. So that's strong. Mm. We want to look at roots of struggle. What can lead to struggle being established? What can cause struggle to be established? The first one is covenant or altars that we dealt with on Thursday. I'm not Wednesday, we'll talk about altars, but we just want to start from that particular point because some of you were not here and then we'll flow into it. What can lead to strongholds? Number one, is a covenant or altars. We say strong altars because it seems the covenants are sealed at altars. Every covenant is sealed at the altar. No covenant can be sealed in the opening. There has to be an altar. The cross is an altar. I listen to somebody. Yeah. So, 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 if, if you if we read some scriptures to, to give you some background about that. So, uh, uh, these, 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 these books of covenant, one is stronghold and altars. Once that, is, that happens, then strongholds are developed because every covenant has a deity attached to it. Every covenant has a deity attached to it. And that deity has an altar in that particular covenant. We watch a lot of Indian stuff. And every Indian whom in what we have seen mm. in those Indian serials, every one of them got some kind of altar where they got a statue, uh, mm. uh, idols. Yeah. Where they offer the sacrifices, the incense, and the burn it. 
every every village or every community has uh, is connected to an altar. I just to me somebody. Amen. Mm. So we say an altar is a place of slaughter. That echo altar are, are erected so that slaughter can take place. The slaughter is either an animal or human beings. Oh. When people slaughter animals, like for example, in the Muslim world, when they do sacrifices, and we all know the Arab people do the same thing, and, 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 and in the Bible, in the Old Testament, they used to, used to slaughter animals on the altar. That's slaughtering of animals. But human beings can be slaughtered at the altar as well. Spiritually, are you listening to somebody? Yes. An entire generation can be killed, even though they are living, but they are dead. On authors, hmm. one person in your uh, among your ancestors, one person among your ancestors decided that he would serve a particular deity, or he decided that I want to be powerful. So therefore, I would I would give my entire uh, descendants mm-hmm. in exchange for power and wealth. Mm-hmm. In the name of Jesus. And then you are born into that family, mm-hmm. but you try your best, and nothing can happen. Hallelujah. And what happens is that by the time you try to become a Christian, then you got two power classes. Mm. You, you love the Lord, but you can't stay faithful to God. Mm. It's not your fault. Yes. Two powers are clashing. Yes. Because one wants to keep you, and the other one wants to save you. So you love the Lord, you come in for them. By the time you turn around and you went to the sin, and then you feel, as soon as you feel committing the sin, you feel so dirty. Mm. Covenant. Hallelujah. Amen. So yeah, the covenant is hindering you from serving God. That's why God told Moses, go tell Pharaoh. Mm. Let look, Israel could have stayed in, uh, stay in, 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 uh, in, in Egypt and serve God. But God knew what would happen if they stay there. Yeah. Too many authors were in Egypt, my yeah, Hallelujah. Too many authors in the world. Too many authors in America. And you will not, you not, you not fortify yourself. Yeah. And you go in among them. So what's happening is that. Every time you connect this kind of stuff, it hinders your way in yes. before God. Oh, yes. yeah. Is that your fault? Mm. Is that your fault? It's because authors are speaking against you. Mm. Authors are speaking against you. Hallelujah. Amen. Authors are speaking against you. Hallelujah. It is a place of sacrifice. Mm. It is a place where the, the, the divine and human interact. Mm. And authors it doesn't matter which part, it could be it could be Satan, it could be God. They interact at the, at the altar. We we'll see that in the book of Genesis. I want to run as much as the case we can get into administration. Okay? Um, a place where the divine and the human interact. Altars are places of exchange. <laughs> Hallelujah. So it's a place where the divine and the human interact. Between the interaction, exchange takes place. You gave what, what you have, and your covenant partner gave what they have. That's why I call Christians a beautiful exchange. Why? That's because God takes away our filthy garment yes. and gave us a robe that is so bright. God removes the, our human frailty yes. and imputes into us righteousness. Yes. And he makes us uh, uh, partake us of his divine nature. Hallelujah. So those who got demonic covenant or are part of demonic covenant, they gave their life to the demons and the demons gave them evil stuff. Mm. In exchange, that's an exchange. Some people want money, some people want wealth, some people want whatever. Mm. He mm. gave to them, but then in exchange, they gave their life. So every time they can renew that covenant, we don't have to in, 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 in Jesus' name. Yes. But when the demon got to renew every time, if you don't, you'll pay a surprise. Yeah. Mm. Every company has a price. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nothing is free. Even, even in Jesus, even the covenant or in the Christian, the Christian covenant is not free. You gotta pay a price. You gotta pay a price. You gotta pay. It's a sacrificial living. You are you are you are leaving yourself to Jesus. Hallelujah. You are leaving yourself to Jesus and giving everything away. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's a place of memorial. In other words. Covenant are not, I mean, uh, authors are not forgotten. Mm. That's why God can forget Jerusalem. Mm. I don't care how they fight. Mm. They're wasting their time. I don't know what America thinks that without them, Israel can't keep Jerusalem. 
I don't know what you think that that body can take Jerusalem. No. A miracle exists or not. Mm -hmm. God is powerful enough yes, is. to keep Jerusalem safe. Yes, he is. Because of the altar of worship. Mm -hmm. No, no pagan religion will take Jerusalem. That can take all what Israel, but it will not take Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a place of exchange. Um, communication and influence. It is the place where covenants are sealed. Therefore, it is a place of memorial. So covenants are, are sealed in a, at, at, at an altar. Can somebody read for me Genesis chapter 15 from verse 1 to 12 quickly? Let me start reading from verse, yeah, let's read from verse 10, let's, uh, from verse 8 to 12. That's what happened between Abraham and God. If somebody can, can look for the same Genesis chapter 28, another person, 28 verses 11 to 19. Genesis chapter 15, start reading from verse 8 to 12, please. That's the word. There was a covenant that Abraham fought with God right there. Amen. That was a covenant. And Abraham had to protect the covenant. That's why he was, was kept away with the bread. Let's go to Genesis 28, 11 to 19. Genesis chapter 28, verse 11 to 19. Father, you take authority now over this demon and you stop this child. As you command him to seize him by the power of the blood in the name of Jesus. Continue, sister, continue. I want to go back to the Lord. Confident. Let's go. Continue. Call it better. 31, if somebody can tell you 31 and 13, where God reminded him about better. So because of what happened, and, and Jacob and Jacob put oil there and built an altar there, and he called the place better. God didn't call the place better. Jacob called the place better, which is the house of God. But then God, in, in, in uh, uh, 31, 13, was reminding Jacob about what 
what Bethel actually meant. He said, I'm the God of Bethel. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. So let, let's, let's look at, uh, uh, we'll go to uh, 35, 35 um, and 1. 35 and 1. See Genesis 35 and 1. Then God said to Jacob, go up to Bethel and settle there, uh -huh. and build an altar there to God, who appeared to you when uh -huh. you were fleeing from your brother Esau. Is, uh -huh. So you see that God is reminding Jacob about, about Bethel, because it was a memorial. Yes. It was a place of exchange. Now, let's look at the dangerous part of the dangerous aspect of Bethel by looking at Judges chapter 6, from verse 24 and 25. Judges 20, uh, 24, Judges chapter 6, verse 24 and 25. Judges chapter 6, verse 24 and 25. Judges chapter 6, mm -hmm. 24 and 25. Okay, yeah, 24 and 25. That one. Your father's now you see, uh, God has spoken to Gideon from the beginning. See, you are mighty men of valor. This is what you do. You will set Israel free. You are the man. After God has done all of that, he and God had had an encounter. But it is that the God tells him now, go and destroy your father's altar. Because it, it wasn't it wasn't Gideon's altar. It was the father's altar. But because it was Gideon's father, there was a di direct lineage yeah. to the altar. So if Gideon had not destroyed the altar, he would not have fulfilled the purpose of God for his life. Yes. Yes. The altar would have been an impediment. The altar would have been a resistance. Yes. Even though Gideon was a nice guy. Mm. I need to be somebody. Yes. So some of the issues you are going through is not your fault. Mm. Somebody ignorant or responsible for that. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we say altars can speak. Genesis chapter 4, verse 10. We read it on Wednesday. Where, where King K. Abel and God said the blood of Abel has spoken to him. Yes. That was an altar. Anywhere where blood is shared, it's slaughter. Altar is erected there. Whether it's an accident, so people don't understand when one accident takes place, if you see accident happening to one place over and over, over and over, that's an altar of that's an altar for sacrifice of blood. Mm. It's not normal. Now people can take things to be every time we take things to be normal, we take it for granted. Mm. And say no loves that because for me, call me what you want to. I'm not suspicious. But I like to investigate. Mm -hmm. If I see nothing wrong, then I move up. And, I, and, I, and no harm in it. Mm -hmm. But if I see something happen to me, one, <laughs> twice, <laughs> three times, four times, I say, no, 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 something wrong. Mm -hmm. Then I go investigate. Yeah. If, 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 if it's a normal occurrence, because of uh, things that happen by chance, it means that like anything yeah, wrong with it. Yeah. But there's nothing wrong to investigate. No. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you put fire. Look, let me tell you, during the war, some guys who have gone, they were not going to see people. They just see uh, them, and they call it scorum. Yeah. 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 They put the fire. They see scorum to the fire. They see the fire. Because it's better to take precautions. You fire so that the human being there, he dies. So your enemy there, he dies. Then you're going to release fire. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. So you see something be happening. Okay, listen. There are places where the crime rate is high. Yeah. Because the altar of death is there. Somebody yeah. may have killed. You just take from there, they're all over. No matter how many police go there. Mm. The same thing happens over and over. Amen. Authors. Mm. I need to be somebody. Yeah. Author can speak. I said, Author can speak. Yeah. So the author and God can get the voice because God understands spiritual principles. Yeah. Yeah. So the devil uses the same thing. Hmm. Look, I will take my sister here, but I will tell you, our family. I dream, we we'll do it again today. Some of you were not here on Wednesday. I dream the copy of blood. You check me, you caught me. No copy of blood inside of me. I, <laughs> I dream it out. All that bank stuff they were doing, the river, all that the fishing inside, and, and, and all my grandfather and the shrine they have. Yes. It can't affect me and my children. I broke it by the power of God. Even if I love my father, I can't hear him. I love him. Mm. But it will not hinder my future. No way. Be good to them. Yes. 